Hey, hello everybody and welcome back. This is going to be the fourth video in a series on how to use Google Tag Manager to set up a cookie consent bar for GDPR compliance, uh, global data protection regulation, thanks to the European Union. Um, so on the previous videos, I recommended this site and this is what we used, uh, kind of our basis for setting up the GDPR cookie consent bar on our site, paidtraffic.com with Google Tag Manager. And that's at Google uh, technicalmarketing.guide. And the link in is in number, uh, the video number two, um, when we actually start going through it and it links out to this site to actually download the code. So in the previous video, we had you download the GTM recipe here, which we then imported into Google Tag Manager and set up all the tags and triggers and everything and the variables. What we'd left out of the previous videos is setting up the cookie settings page. And that's what this code is here in black is just the, the two fields, the two check boxes, and then a button that gets incorporated into your cookie settings page. So to do that, we used uh, ClickFunnels. We use ClickFunnels a lot for ourselves and for our clients. And so we just set up this page here, cookie settings um, in this funnel here. And we went in and Let's go in and edit that page. And basically all we did was we took this first part here, added that in um, and as a custom JavaScript HTML underneath the analytics and customization. So these are our performance cookies. So if we look at that, that is just the performance cookie checkbox. And then we took the second part of the code that they published here in this black box these next two lines we put in after the advertising and targeting cookies disclaimer here. And so that code is there and that's basically it. So whenever this page loads as uh, Google tag manager loads, it populates these checkboxes based on what is saved on that person's machine. If they modify them and click save to save their settings, it then removes the, the uh, bar from showing up and it also updates those settings as well. Once they've set their settings, they can't really go back to this page because they're not going to see the, the bar. So in a footer of our pages on this site, we've also included a link to go back to the cookie settings page to update their cookie settings if they ever wanted to do that as well. Um, so in that case, the only other thing that I didn't cover, I did touch on it in the previous videos, is uh, the importance of your cookie settings page URL. So I think by default, the URL is actually cookie dash settings. And when we set up this page, we set it up without the dash. And so when we went into Google Tag Manager, we updated that under the cookie bar tag. Uh, so this, if we click on tags, you have your tags here. And then the first one up on top is the cookie bar. And this is where the actual code is to show up and the bar itself, the first part is style. And then the top section here that is in red is the actual copy and code that shows up to create that bar. And so these two links in the previous video, we updated one is our privacy policy and the second one is the link to cookie settings. And so once these are updated, then they'll be able to go out to the cookie settings page that we just walked through and be able to update their settings or review them. So that's about it. If you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments and I will either create a new video uh, to address those questions or if I can, I'll just answer those comments directly um, within the comments. Thanks a lot.